Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. It's May here and today we're going to be doing a baby's arrival plaque. This is something that my daughter had asked me to do for the baby and this plaque here, it's unpainted and I purchased it at Hobby Lobby for $3.99. I will also be using the Folk Art White Chalk Paint and I will be using a Dollar Tree permanent vinyl. This is the first time that I've ever used this brand so I'm hoping that it will work for this project. Um, and since I'm going to be using the Silhouette 4, Cameo 4, um, in order to cut vinyl I did use the adapter with this blade. This is the um, cutting blade that it's very good for cutting paper or vinyl. Um, it does have a blade that comes in the machine and I'm going to show you that. So this is the um, adapter and this is the blade and I set it up at three and then this is the one that normally typically comes with the Cameo 4 but because we are cutting vinyl we want to make sure we use like a standard size blade. Um, so just so you know if you're going to be doing this at home and you're using a Cameo, if you don't have the Cameo 4 you co of course you can use that blade um, and I just put it at a 3 uh, blade pressure. Okay so um, I think that's about all. We'll be weeding out the um, Oops, you know what? Let me do one more thing because I need to um, remove this because I want to be able to get in here really good. Um, and I also want to paint these. Okay, so we'll paint those probably with a sage shadow shock paint and I have a pink one so let's go ahead and start doing this one and of course we can it looks like they have a pretty good knot there um, you can undo that if you want I'll probably use the emery board from Dollar Tree to sand down um, some of this as well but I do like Typically, you would want to remove. And this is another uh, great idea that you can do for any little kid's bedroom. You know, if you want to hang something, or if you want to do a um, kitchen tray, you can make one of these and use your Cricut or your silhouette to cut out the vinyl and make the little phrases as well. Now Dollar Tree does have these little wood plaques and I was actually, I went in there to see if they had one and I'll show you the one that I did manage to find there and we'll work with something similar to that as well. Um, but I will have to dr use the Dremel to cut out a hole. Sorry, I kind of space out there. So we're going to go ahead, let this sit, and I'll do the back part, and then we'll be back. Okay, so with my emery board, I'm just going to go around the edges and kind of sand down and expose some of the natural wood. I like that look. I'm going to go off camera here so I can get closer. So now we're going to start weeding and I have my weeding tools and this is like a little um, weeding tool that has, it's like a pen, retractable pen, but it allows me to get, get into these little details. You also have these kind of tools as well. I kind of like this one because it's a little bit more finer and it's retractable. 
All right, so I'm just going to go in here and remove any of the little pieces that are tiny in between the letter fonts. And of course, you don't need some of these tools. These are just little extra things that I have here that makes it a little easy for me. This part here is a little bit tedious, um, but I don't know. I also like doing it. I don't know. It's kind of weird. So we just go in here, gently remove very carefully the areas between the design. The unwanted spaces, in other words. So see, in these little tiny ones, it might be easier just to use my fingers. Like I said, I'm not too sure. I've never used this vinyl from Dollar Tree. I'm hoping it's permanent and that'll stand its test of time. But if it's not, this is just something that uh, my daughter wanted for the baby's bassinet. I'm trying to see if I need to weed anything else. Doesn't look like. So what I did here is um, this is actually the shape of the size of my plaque. I made a circle because it makes it easier since there's some tiny little intricate cuts there. It just makes it a lot easier to weed um, when you have tiny little intricate intricate cuts. So I'm going to go ahead and remove, carefully remove that. If you can see, you can see what it says, hello world. You could probably use that as a stencil. All right. And then we are left with this. Now I am also going to lift up this little piece here, but you can if you want. Um, and I can do that. Let's do that. I can save some of these little pieces. Um, this is my transfer tape that I use to be able to um, Okay, I went ahead and put my transfer tape on top of this here and I'm burnishing it with a burnishing tool because most importantly I want that font um, to pick up on my transfer tape and it did so that's good um, I was a little concerned because this paper is very thin it's not the paper that it's um, the backing for the vinyl, it's not very thick, so I was concerned about that. Okay, so there it is. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my piece here. I'm going to center it in. I'm 
being extra careful because I'm not too sure how well this um, bind. Yep, there we go. Some people said it's good. I'm not sure about all that. I rarely see that slipping up. I'm burnishing. I use this little burnishing tool as a guide to pull back the transfer tape. It just kind of helps if I see anything that's lifting up because this is pretty cheap vinyl. the heck out of that. If it does for those big words, big letters, or big fonts, ooh, I hate to see what's going to do with these tiny ones. So let's see. this as a little pusher. Yeah. Definitely not one vinyl that I'll ever buy again. That is for sure. You get what you pay for. It doesn't seem like it's sticking as good, so I may have to varnish this. Put a coat of varnish over it to seal it. Start pulling from this edge here. It's a little bit bigger and hope that... transfer tape is reusable so I just kind of save the backing from the um, vinyl and place it on there and I use it next time there we go All right. I wish I could zoom in but it's lifting up it's not like I said it's not the best vinyl let's see it's a little, when it comes to little intricate pieces like that, I would definitely go with a higher brand of stuff, the Oracle brand, Caesar vinyl, Cricut vinyl, but not, I mean, and not so much Cricut, because I have used some Cricut. Um, I think Cricut tends to be a little bit um, pricey. You can definitely see um, some on Amazon that will save you money versus the Cricut vinyl. I have used the Hobby Lobby one, which um, surprisingly enough, it's it's been really good. Hoping this one would do the, the, the deal. As you can see, it's a bit time consuming. So I'm going to try to do this off camera and I'll be back. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Now, would I buy a Dollar Tree vinyl ever again? Absolutely not. It was a little bit of more work than I would want to do. 
Um, I did was able to lift up some of this stuff, so I'm hoping that maybe if I cover it up with a little bit of varnish and seal it, it'll be more protected. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start putting in the wood beads. And I could also put uh, maybe a, a ribbon. I'm not sure. Let's see how this... Um, to recycle let's see how this looks and if I don't like it then we will switch it out I did have some white ones in and I don't know I should put out let me go get a white one in between. Change it up a little. cute yeah very cute so then all we have to do is just make that little and again we could um, if we choose we could possibly use ribbon versus twine twine sometimes makes a little bit of a mess I like that. I'm not sure yet if I want to maybe possibly um, you guys know I have to always spice it up. I'm not sure if I want to later on maybe change it to some ribbon. I'm not sure. We'll see. Um, but definitely I'm going to probably um, add some little embellishments here and there for it. So now next we're going to do is some little embellishments for this because you know we can't just make it plain Jane. We got to make something pretty here. Um, and this one might be, no that's a little too small. Alright so let's make a bow. I think I'm just going to do one instead of a double. And then I have a button and I removed the shank off of one of these little pieces and attached it to my button with some glue and we're hoping to put it in the center of this here um, like so. Yeah, that'll work. Alright, let's fold those bunny ears back. Let's get our hot glue. thing that I don't like hot glue mess okay and 
And let's get this button in here. this crunchy and I also have these little embellishments that I ephemeras that I got picked up for the album and maybe we can add one little stickers I'm trying to make that really so we can add one of these in here. I wish it was a bunny, but we all have a bunny. Our theme is more bunny. Um Let's see, let's do this. Then I'm going to put this. Looked it up. Let's see what we got going on. I might have to turn this just a tad bit. Sometimes when you take a rubber band and you tie those ends you can get a good crinkle in there but that's pretty good I think I'm going to go ahead and um, since the weight's not going to be something that's going to be very big I think I'm going to put that little piece down there What do you guys think? Okay, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned for all the little upcoming projects that I'll be creating with the Silhouette and the Cricut. If you have any questions, feel free to write it down in the description box below. And if there's any video tutorials that you would like for me to do, um, again, write it down in the little comment section below. Till next time, guys. Bye-bye.